Rowan Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my Procreate. As you can see, I have set up stacks of similar items together, and I've given each one its own cover image so that I know what is um, it's underneath. And today I'm going to show you how I do that by um, creating a stack for particularly these fall SVG designs that I've done. As you can see, it's kind of a mixture of SVGs and some art. So I want to separate those and stack them. So the first thing I want to do is create, um, I have created a template already. As you can see, this one says templates. And this is what I use to make the rest of the cover images. You can do that by simply clicking on the plus sign and creating a new canvas either a square or the screen size is totally up to you i've used a square i just like the way it looks so i'm gonna go in here and after i've created a, a canvas you can pretty much set this up however you want you can put an image on here you can write something out i chose to write things out in a color scheme that matches my logo so, and I have one here that I've already written out for my fall SVGs. And all I do is just duplicate it. And let's go ahead and select my logo color because I want all these to match. And actually, let's go back out and look real quick because I have these, as you can see, alternating. So my next one will be yellow background. Okay, so we're good. So there's my yellow background and I'm just going to go ahead and select this and fill my layer and then move my drop shadow a little bit and just blur it just to give it a nice little effect. Okay, so that's good. That works for me. Now all I do is let's duplicate this real quick so I don't lose my template background. And I'll just go ahead and merge those right there. And what I want to do is go here to the add, but I'm going to copy this layer. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new canvas. I'm going to go ahead and do the square one. And I'm going to paste what I just created. So this is going to be the cover image for my fall SVGs. Now it's just a matter of selecting it. You can drag it with your finger, just hold it down a little bit. And we'll put it right there. So as you can see, everything just kind of falls into place. And then I want to take these, this stack of fall SVGs, which all you have to do is put your finger on it until you see it sort of move and you drag it until the bottom one um, lights up into a different color and then you can let it go and it'll all be stacked together. Now you don't see my, um, my cover image yet, but we're gonna take care of that in a second. So as you can see, my cover image is all the way down at the bottom. So all you have to do is with your finger, just take it and drag it all the way to the front. That did not work. Let's do that again. Sometimes it gets a little tricky to do, put it in the first one. So I usually just put it in the second place and then move the first one over. So now when I go back out, my fall SVG's cover photo is there at the front. And then if you click on the name, you can simply rename it, rename your stack. So we'll name this fall SVG's. Ah, there, SVG's. And I am done. And if I want to go ahead and title this as well, so I know what's in there. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Another way that you can stack items in um, Procreate is by selecting them. I can select, let's say though these three, and up here at the top in your options, you're gonna see stack, preview, share, duplicate, and delete. So you just click on stack and it'll stack those for me. And then I'll be done. As you can see, a lot of these have a transparency. 
so it looks kind of weird, but if I had a cover photo there, it would look just like the SVG ones. So that is pretty much it. It is very simple to organize your Procreate. It just takes a little bit of time to write each one of these out, to figure out exactly uh, all the different kinds of things that you store in your Procreate. Like I have my freebies that I draw on here for you guys, um, some of my layouts, my mood boards, etc., my mandalas. So it's just a matter of writing down a list of everything that you uh, usually create in Procreate and creating a cover photo. And then it's just a matter of putting your things under each one of those cover photos in small stacks. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and hopefully it will help you keep your Procreate and your artwork a little bit more organized. Until next time, bye!